Hey CFA, I hope you guys are well. Welcome to Wednesday the 3rd of June. So guys, if you have any equipment limitations or injuries, please let us know. So guys, we're going to get started. We're going to start off with some uh, Tabata, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. You're going to accumulate as many reps in that 20 seconds as possible. So we're going to start with down-ups, then we're going to go into T-holds. Right, so with the T-holds, you're alternating every round each arm. Okay, so for the first round, you'll do your right arm, then the second round, you'll do your left arm. Okay, so your down-ups, right, you're going to get your hands on the floor, feet back, and up. Okay, right, so for 20 seconds. Then your T-holds, you can get onto the floor, right, you're going to get into a T, all right, and hold it there for 20 seconds. Okay, all right, and you're alternating each round with that. Okay, then your... Um, Mobility, you're going to do some puppy dog, so you're going to get to a wall, push your hips back, all right, and you're going to push your shoulders through, okay, for, 20, uh, for about 30 seconds. Then your forward fold, you're going to get onto the floor, all right, we're going to get our legs nice and straight, you're going to lean forward and hold it there, okay, for about 30 seconds. Then your bootstraps, you're going to get your feet in your squat stance, all right. And from there, right, keeping your legs nice and straight, you're going to go down, grab your shoelaces, push your knees out, big chest, and then straighten your legs, keeping your hands on your shoelaces. Okay, right, you're going to do that for, for 10 reps. Good. Then today we've got a strength circuit. It's predominantly posterior chain, right? We're going to start off, right, with five rounds, 10 deadlifts, okay? So you need an object so you can lift off the floor, guys. Right, you can use a sandbag, a kettlebell, right, pretty much anything, right, just make sure there's a bit of resistance. Also, if it's light, what you do is tempo it, so slowly up, slowly down. Okay, so from here, right, we're going to pick it up, nice flat back, push your hips back, I'm going to go down, use the legs, and stand up, all right, keeping that back nice and flat the whole time. Okay, all right. From there, guys, we're going to do some explosive lunges, okay, or jumping lunges. So we're going to start in the lunge and I want you to jump as high as possible, catch it and then go down. So from here, okay, right, be nice and careful guys, you don't want to bash your knee on the ground, but we want to jump from that lunge, okay, right, we just, um, we, we predominantly going to be using fast switch fibers there, right, something a little bit different. Then we'll get onto the floor, all right, we're going to do some weighted glute bridges. So you can use your odd object or sandbag, or pretty much anything, you're going to get it onto your hips, right, you're going to get one leg up, okay, and you're just going to lift your hips up as high as you can, and then come down, all right, 10, 10 each leg, good, then we're going to do some explosive jumps, okay, all right, so I'm going to leave this up to you guys, but what I want you guys to do is, you can do a, you can do a mixture, all right, of high jumps, and like um, broad jumps, so from here, right, so a mixture of those and then a mixture of broad jumps. Okay, right, just as long as we're being explosive. Okay, working on some different muscle fibers. Good, then once we've done the five rounds of that, guys, we're going to move on to our workout. We've got some devil presses today. Okay, so basically we're going to squat down, I mean we're going to go down into a burpee, pick the object up and get it above the head. Okay. So, that's one rep, okay. You're doing that for seven minutes. So it's a seven minute AMRAP of as many reps as possible in the seven minutes. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy the workout. Shouts if you need any help.